Hey everyone, welcome back to Be With The Tea. Now, before I get into this tea, I want to remind you guys about my $100 Easter giveaway. Now, this giveaway ends on April the 4th, and in order to qualify, you must be a subscriber. So click the subscribe button below, like videos, comment on videos, and leave your cash app or your PayPal in the comments below. Now, again, this giveaway does end April the 5th, so good luck, everyone. Now, let's get into this tea. Okay, you guys, so if you're not aware, Derek Jackson was called out for cheating on his wife, a woman by the name of Candace called Unwind with Tasha and basically allegedly exposed him. Now, Derek Jackson went live and basically refuted everything that she said and gave his version of what happened, basically like a rundown timeline. Now, after Derrick Jackson went live yesterday on his YouTube to explain what really happened between him and this woman Candace and where he stood at the time with his wife and their marriage, another woman came out and she contacted Tasha K and she told her story about her run in and her alleged affair with Derrick Jackson. Okay, so this woman's name is Lanai, and so she basically is claiming that the way they begin to interact is she was following his YouTube account for years, and she followed his Instagram, and she actually DM'd him in his Instagram account because she wanted to meet up with him because she had just broken up with her ex-boyfriend, and she needed advice, she needed help. So she said she did not think that he was gonna actually hit her back, but he DM'd her back with the looking eye emoji. And so she responded and was like, you know, I would like to meet up with you. When are you doing another book signing? Because she said she had already been to like a seminar of his before and she wanted advice and help with her ex-boyfriend. So Lene said that they actually met up the very next day for lunch. And when she saw him, she claims that there was an instant chemistry between them. Now, just to get the dates clear, this woman claims that she met him in August of 2019, okay? Now, the other woman that came out prior to her actually knew him for 10 years, but they did not have any type of situationship until about 2020, okay? So this is about a year difference. Now, when they met up, he told Lene that he was married, but that he was separated and him and his wife were going through a divorce. Now, again, this is in August of 2019. This is not around the time that he claimed that him and his wife were separated, which was between February 1st, 2020 and mid-September 2020. So it appears that he told Lene and Candace the same thing. Me and my wife are separated. We're going through a divorce. So Lene says that they, you know, meet up and they have lunch and she talks to him about her ex and he basically tells her like, you need to leave your ex alone. You know, you need to move on. So he ended up inviting her to a party that he was having. And so the party she said was on Jupiter Street in Atlanta. He had this penthouse so she says she ended up going to the party in his penthouse and they ended up being intimate and this started a six month affair between the two of them so she claims that he actually told her like look if you're gonna be my friend you know we have to be intimate if we're not gonna be intimate then it's no point of us being friends I'm going through a separation, yada, yada, yada. So she agreed to it. Now, I know Tasha K did ask her, like, you know, was he buying you things? You know, what was he doing for you? She said, no, he never bought her anything, that the relationship was very casual and they would just meet up sometimes, you know, to be intimate, to go out, you know, have drinks and have a good time. Now, this lasted until about May of 2020. She stated that the last time she heard from him was in May and he texted her something like, are you okay with the sweating emoji? or something of that nature. And she said she did not respond because she had gotten back with her ex. So he also told her during this time that he was reconciling with his wife and guess what he did? He blocked her on all social media accounts, just as he did Candace, 
afterwards now when he did this to candace this was after may okay so it seems like it's a pattern that when he's done with a woman he basically blocks her completely cuts it off so it seems his game is to tell the woman that he is separated from his wife and he's going through a divorce and after he actually gets what he wants from her and is intimate with the woman and after he gets tired of the woman he comes back with this i'm reconciling with my wife and he blocks the woman on all social media accounts and from calling him so this is his game that it seems like he does with women that he interacts with while he's married but you know what this is just a crazy situation all the way around i do not believe that the women who are coming forward are 100 percent innocent but at the same time you know his wife i highly doubt she's going to leave him i mean she's been with him 14 years married for four they have two children together so i really don't see her getting up and leaving most of the time women do not leave the men that are cheating on them like seriously let's be real they do not leave so hopefully him being exposed hopefully he will get it together and mature because you cannot have a platform like he has and be going around here playing the wolf in sheep's clothing it's just not going to work but what do you guys feel about this entire crazy situation it's a lot to it i want to know what you guys feel about the women who have came out and allegedly exposed him you guys what do you feel about the wife staying and what do you feel about him having the platform that he has and is allegedly doing the things that he's doing leave your comments below do not forget to subscribe and i will talk to you guys later